to Inside SoCal. I'm your host, Erica Olson. It's Mother's Day, so today we want to wish all of the moms a very special day. Plus, we're chatting with two very special guys here in L.A. who are so grateful for their moms. My mom has made so many sacrifices for me. You know, I wouldn't be where I'm at without it. I think, you know, the biggest thing that comes up to mind for me is just the fact that, like, instead of working overtime, you know, or working, like, late, you know, she really made those sacrifices to come watch me play. I mean, I've been at every sporting event that he has played. It was just amazing to get a chance to see your mom in the stands. And like, that makes a big impact on me, you know, just running the ball, just see my mom in the stands cheering me on. Josh, are you excited for this upcoming season with the Chargers? Yeah, no, I'm juiced. I'm really excited. You know, just coming into year two, I had a lot of experience last year. So, you know, this year, you know, I've learned a lot and I'm just excited to just put all this work in this off season and just translate it onto the field. I'm excited to go to the stadium. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful stadium. And actually see him live. I love the fact that he's here oh, in Thank LA because it's like, woo, it's really close. I love it. Thank you, Chargers. Jackie, are there any cute nicknames or pet names that you have for Josh or had for Josh when he was growing up? <laughs> well, his auntie called him Howdy. <laughs> Howdy? Yeah, it was a, a TV show on called Howdy Doody <laughs> years and years and years and years ago. <laughs> but it was a show on called Howdy Doody. And she said that Joshua would remind her of the man Howdy Doody because he always had a big smile. To be honest, I think I'm just a mirror image of uh, my mom. Uh, she's very positive. I think that's something I really got from her, just seeing someone who was extremely positive. Oh. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. I really appreciate everything you've done for me, all the sacrifices, the hard work. And I really appreciate everything that you've molded me into. Uh, you've always taught me to keep God first, always to always to understand whatever position that you're in, to never let anything change you, whether it's money, success, accolades. And always, you know, just to help people. You know, it's your responsibility to use your platform to inspire others, to help the community, and make sure you have a presence. You know, I'm gonna take that for the rest of my life. You know, thank you. I really appreciate it. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, son. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in honor of Mother's Day, we have been invited into the kitchen of Curtisone at Gwen. Thank you so much for having us here. And I know we're doing something in honor of your mom. Yes. What deliciousness is about to happen? Well, my mom, her name's Loza, uh, Lorraine, and she, um, she used to be a great baker. And she used to make these muffins that used to just make my head spin when I was a little kid. So I thought I'd make you those muffins. It's a bit of a take on cornbread, but we're gonna start with bacon. So I've chopped up some bacon. We cure the bacon ourselves here at the restaurant or the butcher shop. And we're gonna saute this and get it really nice and crisp. So stick it into a warm pan. You wanna hear that sizzle. You start by sauteing that, and then it's a very simple recipe. It's basically split the two sides, so you've got the wet ingredients mm -hmm. and the dry ingredients. So you're going to do all the work, and I'm just going to stand here and watch. Okay? This is not true. This is not true. <laughs> yeah, the thing about mums is we've got to appreciate them as much as we possibly can. Yes. And everyone's got a special recipe for their mum. This is your mum's recipe? This is mum's recipe. My mum, was a, she was a single mum. She a hard worker. When she had time, she would bake. I'd just sit there and watch the oven. So I still remember it very vividly. So you add the corn. Then we take some cheese. I want you to mix the cayenne pepper, okay. the salt, and self-rising flour. Um, throw in your salt. Okay. What are some good life lessons she taught you as a child? She's a tough woman, my mum, yeah. and she had a crazy work ethic, and I certainly got that from her. Yeah, she's, she's got a good sense of humour at the same time. And as soon as it comes together, that's it, it's done. So these go into the oven, 400 degrees, just for 20 to 25 minutes, and this is how they came out. I didn't want you oh. to have to wait. Voila! Oh Voila. my gosh, those look delicious! This recipe will be on cbsla.com slash inside SoCal, so everybody can download and use it, whether it's on Mother's Day or beyond. Exactly. All right. Here's to all the moms. Here's to all the moms. To Laza, to my mom, cheers! Cheers! Mm. Mm. Well, that's it for us. Thank you for watching, and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, especially mine. I love you, Mom. We'll see you next Sunday.